Hello guys, today I'm going to tell you how can you make a tunnel attack. So the tunnel attack game just works like this. So when I just click and play, it comes here and then uh, it asks me, oh no, what happened? Um, okay, so when I just click on play, here as you can see, I come to the background and I have to always collect the coins as you can see I have always collect the coins and go there and as you can see this one is a basic one and the advanced one is here if you wanna select level and I'm gonna go here so this is the advanced one where uh, the enemies will be cunning at, uh, as you can see the enemies you have to escape from the enemies and that's the thing here it's more advanced so here then um, so that's the ground and you always have to be connecting points and you know it's uh, escape from doors uh, and uh, something like this as you can see that's cool right so now when I just click it went okay so now that just happened now uh, let's go to the costume so here as you can see first i have a text which says tunnel attack and balloon fun. here as you can see then cat shadow fat full shadow it's doing the shadow and here are all the levels okay the all the levels as you can see they're all the levels here they're almost you know uh, 14 levels and then here as you can see the play button and uh, it is play and play so any if you want and then this is select level i was just trying with this choose level if you want you can also take that um like this also looks good but this only is the best so here this is the push so the uh let me just show you the push where does that happen so like the i come here and you will see that if I just, you know, go up um, and just, uh, you know, come here. So, you will see that that's the push here. As you can see, you know, stones just went off. So, that's the push in the third or fourth level like that. So, now if I just click on play and if I click on L, so I can just skip to any level here, like 14 I come, I get 14 level, like if I want to go to 5th level, I came to the 5th level, so like that, if you want, you can also do, and I have put that, and this is uh, the mob, which is there as our thing, and this is our player always, uh -huh. our sprite catty, and that's doing the things, and then here we have tiles, which have the keys, the grass, the castle center, and you know, the burrow, and this, and you know, the box, and uh, rock soil, coin, you know, coin gold, coin guard shadow, and these are two of them, and then the door closed, and yellow tile, and the egg, and the keys. So that was the thing here. And frame, it's just uh, having the frame. So we want this frame, so we are putting that. And then here, um, as you can see, we have uh, that many things. So this is doesn't have any costume, but it's doing the initial setup. As you can see, a lot of things. So now let's talk about the code. Now I won't tell the full code, but I'll give you an oh. overview. It okay. So, um, First, I'm going to tell you about the tiles. Then I'll tell you about the setup and all. So here I have uh, many many variables. Okay, so I'm like animate and coins collected, and you know these are the things which are here. And then you can see that I have set animate. It's setting some variable uh, like you know, although not those. No, just okay. So here, as you can see, there are many lists. So that's doing the list, and you know, here uh, replace item of level with item le five of level. So it's doing some replacing, and then 
you can see here that um, I have some blocks that's called animate clone titles and all. So draw is equal to it's gonna repeat until on some conditions and it's gonna see that if index and if some variables are this, then it's gonna do some things and that's the thing here in draw. So then we have draw, uh, draw map x y and um, so this is uh, so this is the thing and that's just uh, gonna set the size into mal into 100 percent and it's gonna set y you know and it's gonna repeat uh, and uh, you know it's gonna see some things and it's gonna see the conditionals it's gonna switch costumes and all those the draw map x and y and mal is doing then you have um where did it go? Let me just, yeah. Um, animate, so as you can see, this is the animate, and it's just setting uh, two variables to uh, some mathematical operations. And this is translate, and it's gonna see the TX and TY, and uh, it's gonna change some variables, and you know, it's gonna see some conditionals that uh, this is or, or not, or this is or not and it's gonna see that. So here we did that about the tiles. And player, again, you have many things, don't worry. So this is check tile at X uh, or Y. So this just set the, check this tile at X or Y. So this is gonna set some variables. Then it's gonna see that if X is equal to zero, it's gonna see that, you know, some variables are according to the thing that it should be or not. And then if it's not, though, it's, so it's gonna set some things to the thing or uh, else it's gonna do something else and it's gonna again check some things like the is equal to zero and those all again. I checked tilet X or zero. Okay, we did that. And here, um, uh, here as you can see, check tilet X and Y and X2 and X Y2. Okay, so this is uh, checking two and it's the same. Okay, and then here when we see move player, it's gonna see uh, some variables are that or not, and then it's gonna set some variables, and then you know it's gonna change x and y position, it's gonna change frame, and it's gonna it's you know change some variables, it's gonna see that if it's not or not, and then it's gonna do that. Okay, and here as you can see. Uh, set costume to direction direction and if the direction not given is not equal to done uh, It's gonna do that and costume not given it's gonna do that and then key press uh, So all the key presses are done here keep left arrow right arrow VSD and dot okay, that's the full thing of that and Set block is equal to this and it's gonna set some variables and you know, it's gonna use lists here so that were the things for the player. Let's go to the enemy two. So the enemy two is now. If I just show the enemy two and start the game, it automatically just hide it by its own. Now, as you can see, I'm not able to progress further because of the enemy. Now, if I just hide it and now try, now I'm able to progress further. So the enemy two is uh, not that, but it's gonna see that it's respawning, and you know it's gonna see, do the same thing as you can see here. It's gonna check tile. It's gonna check collision. That uh, is the collision doing or not, and you know all those things. Uh, it's moving the enemy if uh, variables x and y and all those are things, and uh, it's gonna see that if if it's touching player, so it's gonna uh, do some mathematical operations and is it correct or not, it's gonna see that. And then here you have some of them, like uh, it's gonna set some variables and all. And then we come to the frame. So here frame, uh, all the broadcasting one message and then the message goes to the next. So then it's when, uh, when I receive, it's doing the thing. So it's gonna show and it's gonna switch costume to that. And you know, it's gonna be, uh, when I receive hide all again, it's gonna hide. So then it's level. Um, so this are uh, nothing, but it's doing a setup here. So as you can see, um, there's a lot of code here. 
so um, here it is an uh, block which is the same i showed you in the player and that just sets the block uh, to some things and as you can see uh, it uh, it's using lists and if statements and the other thing which i showed you is for level decrease um, uh, this uh, when like you are uh, pressing zero also that just works so now if i just press zero okay that's not work um, no where did this go yeah level decrease so here uh, when the key press it's going to do some things and like if m is equals to press then it's going to see that if it's not or not or then it's going to set uh, measurements and then if uh, keys are pressed it's going to do all of the things here and like when i receive pre animate 1 to when i receive those it's going to do things and like set block and you know activate around then set tool and it's going to set some variables let me go to the doors now so in the doors the nothing but uh, when i receive animate it's going to set x and y variables and then in the real it's also going to set x and y and it's going to show nothing then we have the curtain and it's doing nothing but the black thing as you can see here so then when i receive black show black fade out and it's going to change its ghost effect and all of those so here it's going to see that uh, when click delete all mobs you know and then um, uh, uh, it's going to set some variables you know and when i receive animate is clone is equals to zero spawn mobs or i'll stick and it's going to see that the squished is not uh, more than zero or something like that so it's going to check the variables and do some uh, do the things then here we have spawn mobs and uh, it's going to set x and y it's going to set some variables according to the conditions so this is stick it's going to check tiles you know it's going to see some mathematical options operations and they are uh, they correct or not and then only it's going to move forward to the game and then the, there are some variables and it's setting them you know and it's also using i'm also using my block here as you can see you know uh in the same thing so here i set move text so it's going to set um some variables to that and it's going to in the list it's going to please items and it's again checking the if statements this is try moving x and y straight and this is if straight is then uh, it's going to check some variables so that if this variable is correct or not then again it's going to see that if x is equal to 0 or not this x is 0 then it's going to do some things like stop the script and again it's going to set some variables there and that was the thing for mob and then thumbnails when i receive main menu it's going to show and it's going to go to front layer and those all it's going to do and then when i receive level chooser it's going to set pro set some variables and clear graphic effect and you know point in direction and in it so the in it is my block so as you can see when i start as a clone it's going to do these things and always is going to go to next costume that's the thing here so now as you can see that's the here when i start as a clone and this is uh, i was just trying that but uh, that seemed to be why right. so this is broadcast hide all hide it's going to hide and it's raise all and you know it's going to go to the front layer it's going to set some variables it's going to repeat that many times and it's going to see that costume number is then its length of levels or not and you know it's going to see that it's uh, proper or not or it's going to make it proper with the if conditionals and when the sprite is clicked you have to see that go to front layer and you have to uh, set level to costume number and you got uh, setting some variables there so that was the thing here and this is check tile is uh, x and y as you as you know i told you and this also is the same title is when i receive main menu it's going to switch costume to title 3 and you know it's going to uh, go to front layer and show then when it receives level chooser it's going to switch costume to title 3 and then set size it's going to set size to 36% and it's going to go to the x and y it's going to show that and when i say for clone sprites it's going to hide and it's going to switch costume to transparent so that's the thing here 
and for the play uh, like uh, when the spider is clicked it's uh, going to broadcast things and it's going to just um set the variables and here as you can see go to front layer you know create graphic effects and it's going to repeat until some conditions here level select is nothing much but same uh, it's going to see that is variables are not and here it's going to uh, broadcast some uh, messages and it's gonna set some variables and the push finally is when i receive animate it's gonna do the animation and you know set x to y set x y set y and it's gonna check some conditionals here as you can see it's gonna see the variables and then it's gonna do some mathematical operations and you know activate around i already told you and then here uh set block also i told you so there were the things here so that was our tunnel attack and let me show you the whole thing now um so this is the thing which works like that and let's start playing and you have to always collect the coins and once you collect all the coins as you can see in the large readout then after that you will go to the next level automatically you won't have to type uh, you know you have to don't have to type and then then you will type that uh, i have to go there so no once you just uh, you know uh, finish all the things like when you get 66 by 66 then your door will also get open and uh, you know uh, you will go to the no, uh, next level automatically that's the thing here and uh, so hope you enjoyed and hope you make the platform a game and that was a good game right so uh, please subscribe our channel for more updates and more fabulous games